All right, everybody. Let's, go. Let's get this day started. Yeah. God has blessed us to Come see on, a new day, crazy. and we are excited just to see what the Lord is about to do for us on this day. So listen, as you come in, go ahead and say hello, not just to me, but to everyone that's watching. And then let us know that you're in agreement with us today. Go ahead and get that morning devotion scripture up. If this is your first time watching, that scripture is Psalm 118 and 24, which is our daily declaration, by the way, because in spite of what happens, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. We're at the beginning of another week, the beginning of a new day, and we are expecting great things because we serve a great God. Evangelist Geraldine Williams Dorch, God bless you. Thank you for coming in on today and for being in agreement with us also. Little sis says, good morning to you as well. And thank you for being in agreement with us on today. Cynthia Gibbs, God bless you. Thank you. And we are excited that the Lord has blessed us to see another day. Sylvia Davis, God bless you. Thank you for coming in on today. And yes, we are praying for your children and for your grandchildren. Thank you for joining us on today. Jeanette Deloach. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on today and for being in agreement with us. Mother Ida Thomas, God bless you. Thank you for joining in, Mother. We thank God for you on today. Chanel Crump, thank you for joining us on today and for being in agreement with us. And Dr. Karen McGee, God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for joining us and for being in agreement with us. Mother Ida Thomas is in agreement with us on today, and we appreciate you on today. Mother LaRue Hopkins, good morning to you as well, and thank you for being in agreement with us. Do those things that we've asked you to do. Go ahead and say hello, spread some love around the room. Get that morning devotion scripture up, and then listen, go ahead and tag someone let someone that know that you're thinking about them, that you're praying for them. And listen, as we say here every day, a little bit of encouragement goes a long way. You never know what anyone is going through at the moment. And just your act of kindness, your act of love may be the very thing that they need to make it through the day. Yes, thank you, Mother. Thank you for joining us. Good morning to you as well. My mom is on the line this morning. Good morning, mom. And thank you for being in agreement with us on today. Yes, my God, Nancy Bowman, God bless you. Thank you for joining us on today. Mary Washington Bailey, happy Monday to you as well. And we thank God for you joining us. Nancy Bowman is in agreement with us on today. And we appreciate her as well. My wife is on the line this morning, and thank God for you, babe, getting up and being with us on today and for being in agreement with us. And um, she's getting her day started, getting ready to head out to work, and uh, we just want to show her some love this morning. You all say hello to my mom as well as my wife, and um, listen, I'd appreciate that so much. God bless you, Sister Tiffany. <clears throat> Thank God for you um, joining us on today. And listen, prayerfully, you all had a wonderful weekend and um, a wonderful day of worship. Um, whenever you chose to worship, either Saturday or Sunday, um, God is not as much concerned um, about the day that you worship, but he is concerned about the fact that you do worship. Um, you ought to have found yourself in a house of worship, in a place where they teach from the Bible, glory to God, from the word of God to help you build your faith and to grow your relationship with the Lord. And um, yes, Nancy, we, um, we did survive um, the shoe shopping trip. You all didn't pray hard enough. You all started, I asked you all to pray for me and you all started praying for my wife um, but you know, we, we did, we did get out of there basically unscathed. I'll put it that way. 
And, um, you know, instead of buying, you know, several pairs of shoes, she only bought two. And um, thank God for that. Um, but um, she she did warn me that that the damage isn't done yet. So she's going to keep, you know, looking. She just didn't find it, you know, enough of the things that she wanted. But thank you all for your prayers anyway. All right. But uh, we appreciate you. Listen, let's go ahead and get started. Psalm 118 and 24. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So today, as in every day, we choose to rejoice, we choose to be glad, we choose to be happy, we choose to be healed, we choose to be whole. Go ahead and begin to command your day, and because this is the beginning of a new week, go ahead and command your week. What is it that you're expecting God to do for you on this day and this week. Glory to God. Go ahead and put those decrees up on today. My God, Dr. McGee said, I prayed that your credit card could hold it all. Well, you know, it 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 did hold it. I was able to <laughs> I was able to handle those two <laughs> two two pairs. My God. But listen, you all go ahead and get your decrees up. And uh, Mary Washington Bailey just going to be honest today. She said, I didn't even pray. I was just laughing. Well, well thank you for the laughs. <laughs> Glory to God. My God. But Sister Tiffany says, I choose to be healed. That's a good one. My God, we believe God for your healing on today, Sister Tiffany. And for the healing of all of you that are watching on this morning. My God, because God is yet a healer. He's yet a healer. And um, I'm sure my wife thanks you all for all of the prayers and all of the support and all of that. I, I forgot that I was dealing with a room full of women. And, um, you know, you all in your shoes, you know, you don't play games with that. Glory to God. Uh, Sister Deanna says, I choose victory. That's a great one. My God. Mother LaRouf Hopkins says, I choose the goodness of God. Mother Ida Thomas says, I choose to be healed. Yes, Nancy Bowman says, I choose healing, the peace, promises, and favor of God. That's a mouthful, but thank God for it as you, as you command your day. Evangelist Dort says, I choose to stay blessed by God. Dr. Karen McGee says, I choose the promises of God. That's a great one. We choose that every day because all of the promises of the Lord, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20, all of the promises of the Lord are yes and in him, amen. So the promises of God are not only guaranteed, but they have no expiration date. Glory to God. If God said it, it will happen just like he said it. So I believe his word. I believe his promises. I believe that what he says is true. According to Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19, the Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he's going to do it. And if he spoke it, he's going to make it good. Listen, we got about another minute or so. So go ahead and um, get those decrees up. Begin to speak over your day. Speak over your week. Sylvia Davis says, I choose to stay focused and share my testimony and have faith in the Lord. Yes. Crystal Bang says, I choose God's favor. My God, that's a good one, because guess what, Crystal? Favor changes laws, rules, and regulations and causes things to work out in your favor. Yes, that's a good one on today, and we agree with you. Mary Washington Bailey says, I choose to get solutions and help from God. Glory to God. That means that you're praying and asking God for wisdom. According to James chapter 1 and for verse number 5, I believe, um, I know it's there in chapter 1, and I believe it's verse 5, that if any man lacks wisdom, 
he ought to ask of the Lord. Glory to God. And the Lord gives wisdom freely and he doesn't hold back. Glory to God. So you're asking God for wisdom to give you solutions to your problems and every situation that you face. Come on, we got about a few more seconds and we're going to get started here. Evangelist Geraldine Dort says, I choose to keep on the armor of God. Now listen, go ahead and get that praise up. You all know how we do here in this group with the early risers. Get that praise up. This is what we give to God every morning, early, my God. And this is how we get our day started because we are expecting God to bless our entire day. Yes, because if we put God first, glory to God, my God, my God, God will cause everything else to fall in line in our lives. Glory to God. Because if we seek him first, according to Matthew 6 and 33, if we seek him first, the Bible says that he will add, my God, all of the things that concern our life unto us. My God, we put him first and he takes care of everything else. We put him first and he makes sure that our needs are met. We put him first, and the Bible says that if we delight in him, if we delight in him, that he will give us the desires of our heart. That's in Psalm 37 and 4. Glory to God. And then verse 5 says that if we commit our ways to him, that he will bring all of these things to pass. Glory to God. What is he going to bring to pass? He's going to bring to pass the desires of our heart. My God, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 16 and 9, in 16 and 9, it says that if we commit our thoughts to the Lord, if we commit our thoughts, that means our plans, the things that we're planning on doing, if we commit them to the Lord, that he will establish or cause our plans to succeed. Yes, my God, my God. My God, Cynthia Gibbs says, I want to be healed this week and moved forward. We thank God for you, Cynthia, and we're praying for your healing. My God, matter of fact, everyone that's on this feed right now, I want you to put up healing for Cynthia. We don't know what her sickness is. We don't need to know. But listen, just put that up for her on today, and we're in agreement with her on today. Yes, my God, Deanna says, I thank God for being my source and my resource. That's a great one, Deanna. And we thank God for you. And we're believing God with you as well. Yes, my God. So listen, let's get started. We thank God for you again, joining us. And if this is your first time watching, uh, my name is Maurice E. Gregory, and this is the morning devotion um, this is a time of prayer, praise, and proclamation um, just to help you get your day started with some positivity and some purpose. So listen, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. You all that are over on YouTube, hit the like button right now. Don't wait, because sometimes if you wait, you forget. But go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, there, and let's get our subscribers up to, to help us to grow our cyber footprint. And of course, on Facebook, you can just follow us here as well. I do have a special announcement about that at the end um, of, our, of our devotion on today about some changes that are being made um, to the cyber community that we're going to have to take notice of. So stay tuned for that. And um, we'll go over that at the end um, of the live stream on today. I want you to go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and share it right now. Um, those of you that are on Facebook or YouTube, share the video um, with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones and your group chats. Um, in your family, you know, your family things and all of that that you have on social media. And let's get the word out on today. Um, help us to get this word out as you have received the word and as you're being blessed by it. 
Um, I want you to go ahead and share it um, so that the people of God can be blessed by you as well. Yes, we thank God for that. Well, let's get into the word on today. And um, um, thank you all for your prayers. Uh, my wife and I, we, we traveled um, this weekend to the city of El Paso, Texas, and um, had a wonderful time there and um, was, was blessed to minister um, the word of God um, there at the Holy Light um, Church of God in Christ. And, um, you know, God did a lot of, you know, supernatural and great things there on yesterday. And um, um, you all even found me there. I've seen some of you all that that found their page and and um, you came in and and you commented and you shared and all of that. And listen, we appreciate you all so much. Thank you for your support of us. Amen. Thank you for the support of my my wife and I. And um, she was blessed on yesterday to to introduce me. It was a complete surprise to her, um, but they put her up to introduce me. And and um, she did a wonderful job on yesterday. And um, as I said, God really blessed us um, on that particular platform on yesterday. But listen, um, we're, we're continuing our series, um, Living by the Mouth of God. So um, go ahead and get that up on today. And um, if you all are getting tired of this, that means that I'm doing my job, I guess. <laughs> Glory to God. Because if you're getting tired of it, that means that it's getting into your spirit. And um, so just put that up today and say, I'm living by the mouth of God. Um, on, on Friday, on Friday, we finished up um, the part of the teaching coming from Matthew um, chapter 13, um, talking about the parable of the sower and the seed, the parable of the seed. And, um, you know, we, we were blessed. Um, I'm sure you all were blessed as we talked about um, the four types of soil, um, the, you know, the, the seed that fell by the wayside and um, means that they, these were people that, um, people that don't have understanding or either just refuse to understand. Um, we, we talked about the seed that, that fell in the stony places that, you know, that it did grow. Um, it, it produced some fruit, but um, because it had no deepness in it, um, when the sun came out, when trials and tribulations came and, and all of that, they received the word of God with joy. But as soon as they faced opposition um, for their faith and what they believe, um, they gave up, they withered up and they died. Um, we also talked about the seed that fell among the thorns. Um, it did grow, um, but the cares of this life, um, chasing after the things of this world, um, actually caused that word to be choked out. They were deceived, my God, by material things, and that word was actually choked out. But then there was the seed that fell on good ground. The seed that fell on good ground, the Bible says that that it brought forth and it yielded a harvest. It yielded a harvest, some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. And uh, we ended with the statement on yesterday is that, you know, God is no respecter of person. But watch this, the more we understand, the greater our harvest is. So as we, as we go to God, as we read the Logos, which, 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 um, which reveals to us the nature, the character, and the very essence of God. And then as we hear God speak, as he gives us the rhema, which means the spoken word of God, I'm giving you the rhema right now. Um, God does not live in contradiction to himself. So there is no rhema that contradicts the logos. So as I give you the rhema, um, as God even speaks to you audibly at times, you know, as he begins to speak to you, we pray that God give us understanding of what's being said and of what's being read. Glory to God, because the greater our understanding is, 
the greater our harvest is, the greater the understanding, the greater the harvest. Come on, I'm going to say it one more time. This is a teaching technique that we have to get. We commit this to memory. My God, the greater our understanding is, the greater the harvest. So therefore, the more we understand, this is how we get to 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. It is God's will. Matter of fact, he's glorified when we bring forth much fruit. So it's God's will that all of us yield a 100-fold return on what we receive. Am I talking to anybody on today? It is not God's will that we walk in ignorance, that we have a lack of understanding. And I told you all this. It is not God's will that we get blindsided, taken advantage of. My God, that we're void of understanding. Am I talking to anybody on today? It is God's will. It is God's will that we have full understanding of what he is saying and speaking to us. My God, so watch this. It is not God's will that we walk in darkness. It's God's will that we fully understand the words that are coming from his mouth. Glory to God. Thank you for getting that up for us on today, Nancy. The greater our understanding, the greater the harvest. Glory to God. I, I wrote that down so that I'll always remember it. My God, the greater our understanding, the greater the harvest, 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. Glory to God. You, you may right now, right now you may be at 30-fold. Um, you may be at 60-fold. Some of you, thank God, you may be at 100-fold. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Um, but listen, those of you that are at 30-fold, don't get frustrated because of where you are right now. Just continue to ask God for understanding. You know, that's why the Bible said we should never compare ourselves by ourselves. Glory to God. We should never look at how another person is being blessed and look down on ourselves because of where we are today. Because watch this, just like God has blessed them, he has another blessing for you and another blessing and another blessing. Am I talking to anyone on today? So there's no need to be jealous. My God, all you have to do is ask God for understanding. And the more you understand, my God, the more he'll give you. I, I, I want to introduce um, a new scripture. I want to introduce a new scripture on today. And I want you all to write this down. And I want to explain the meaning of it. And then I'm going to um, share a quick word with you um, from another point of scripture um, to reference what we're talking about um, when it comes to living um, by the mouth of God. Um, in the book of Matthew, it's actually, it's actually quoted by Jesus um, in two places in Matthew. Um, the first one is Matthew 13 and 12, and the second one is Matthew 25 and 29. Okay, Nancy, get those two scriptures up. Matthew 13 and 12, um, Matthew 25 and 29. All right. Um, one more time. Matthew 13 and 12, Matthew 25 and 29. Um, listen to what Jesus says here. And I think I talked about it just briefly on the other day. He says, for whosoever I'm reading from the King James Version on today, and I'll read it from the New Living Translation. He says the same thing in, birth, in both verses. For whosoever hath, meaning understanding, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that that he hath. I'm going to read that again. For whosoever have, to him shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But whosoever have not, glory to God, from him shall be taken away, even that which he have. So here God is saying, listen, that if you have understanding, you're literally going to see abundance in every area of your life. That's why it's so important that when God gives you a word, he gives you a vision. 
My God, he takes you into places. It is important that you get to know or to have an understanding about the place where you're going, even about the place where you are. Some of you are in a place right now that's overwhelming, but and the reason that it's overwhelming is because you're not really taking time out to understand where you are and literally what you have. Am I talking to anyone on today? You got to get this. Don't say, don't say that I want God to bless me and my business when you're not constantly trying to gain understanding on how to do things. Don't ask God for a promotion on your job when you really don't understand the job that you have. You don't even, you don't even know what it means to supervise your position that you're doing right now because you really don't fully understand the position that you're in. Am I talking to anybody on today? Don't, don't ask God for more money and you really don't understand the responsibility of the money that you have right now. Glory to God, because watch this. If you're irresponsible with a hundred, you're going to be very irresponsible with a million. Am I talking to anybody on today? All you have is more money to be irresponsible with. Glory to God. So, so it's God's will that we have understanding. And he says that those that have understanding will literally have abundance. But those that have no understanding, the Bible says that if they have not, what they have is going to be taken away. Glory to God. My God, I, I, I remember I was a friend years ago um, with a medical doctor, a black, a black doctor and um, in Chicago. And um, I'm not going to call his name, but he was telling me a story um, about his family. They actually have um, a, um, a city named after them in, um, in Alabama, um, McMullen, Alabama. I don't know where that is in relation to what big city or whatever. Um, but, um, he said that, that his great grandfather or his grandfather or, or, or whatever the case may be, um, they owned all of that property. They owned all of that property and, um, all of that property, that lot of land, um, belonged to their family, you know, it was a part of their family. It was there. Um, and it was supposed to build wealth and, and all of these things. And, um, he said, but what happened is that because of a lack of understanding, because of a lack of understanding, um, his, his grandfather or his great grandfather, whoever it was, I don't know at the moment that's immaterial, but he signed he signed a deal that basically gave away all of the land just so that he can have a house on the land. Are you all getting this? See, this was a lack of understanding, and, and he was actually taken advantage of. And what was supposed to be generational wealth um, for that family actually my God was given away or signed away my God just to buy a house on all the land that that they bought that they that they own glory to God so he said what happened what happened and he was telling me this story he said what happened it was his grandfather so what happened his father his father decided to become a lawyer his father decided to become a lawyer and the reason that his father became a lawyer is because he determined within himself that nobody in his family would ever be taken advantage of again. My God, in between his mom and his dad, um, he, he's a lawyer. Um, the mom is a lawyer. The dad is a lawyer. Um, they had 13 children. And um, he, he said his dad and his mom, they drilled this into them my God, that they should grow up with the attitude that no matter what's going on, that they would gain understanding so that they would never be taken advantage of again. And um, out of those 13 children, seven of them became doctors with their own practice. Um, five of them became lawyers. 
I think it was six of them became, no, five of them became lawyers and the 13th child became a biochemist because they made up their minds, my God, that no matter what happened in life, that their family would never be taken advantage of again. And this is the attitude that God wants us to take on as people of God. We ought to gain understanding, at least, in the areas, amen, that we're wanting God to bless us. Because we can't expect to be blessed if we don't have understanding. Because if God blesses us without understanding, it says it right here in the scripture, whatever we have is going to be taken away because we really don't know the value of what we have. Am I talking to anybody on today? I didn't get on here to talk about all of that, but it applies because many of us aren't at the level that we should be. God wants us to be at a hundredfold, but we're still operating at 30 fold. We're operating at 60 fold. My God, we become satisfied with where we are, but there's so much more that God wants us to have. Are you all getting this? There's so much more that God wants us to have, but we don't have it because we lack understanding. Glory to God. Come on, Proverbs 4 and 7. Proverbs 4 and 7. You all should know this. We talked about this. Write it down and read it later. Proverbs 4 and 7, commit it to memory. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. But what did it say? But with all you're getting, get what? I'll wait for you to put that word up right now. Come on, I'm going to wait for you. With all you're getting, what does the word tell us to get? With all of our getting, what should we get? Glory to God. We should get understanding. My God, my God. I should have waited for you all to answer, but I just needed to move on. It is God's will that we understand or we have understanding about the direction that we're going. The most successful people in life, the most successful people in life are literally people that walk in understanding of the areas my God, that they're expecting to be blessed there. And glory to God. CEOs of company have great understanding. Are you all getting the supervisors on your job? I know, I know you all will. I've worked with supervisors before, my God, that, you know, that didn't know what I knew. Glory to God. But guess what? Evidentially, they had understanding because they were in that position. Am I talking to anybody on today? Glory to God. Even if you trained them, some of you, some of you trained people that became your supervisor. Come on, I, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. That's another, that's another message for another day. Glory to God. But with all of your getting, God wants you to get understanding because whosoever have, this is what the word says, whosoever have will receive abundance. But if you don't have it, my God, you're going to lose what you have. This is the scripture. This is a principle that governs the universe. And as we said, my God, um, this, this parable in Matthew 13 is the parable of the kingdom that Jesus actually said that if you understand this particular one, you unlock the key to everything that he says. All right. So watch this. Matthew Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 29. Um, put that up for us, Nancy. Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 29. I want you to write this particular, particular scripture down and go back and read it. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over it with you on today. And um, prayerfully, you'll get something out of it. This is the parable. This is the parable of the king, a parable of the kingdom, and it's the parable of what we call the talents. It's the parable of the talents. Now, um, to establish a foundation for this, um, a talent can actually represent many different things. Um, it can represent a gift um, that God has given us, because whether you believe it or not, all of us have a gift. All of us have something that God has given us 
that we have an ability to do. You know, some of you just have an ability or a gift to be a good friend. I think God has gifted me um, with the gift of friendship. Glory to God. It's not always it's not always a comfortable place, you know, where I can just be a friend to anybody. I can be a friend to anybody. Glory to God. But it's, it's not always comfortable because you don't always get that back in return. Um, if you understand that, you know, so, you know, I, I can be I can be a friend to, to people that no one else is able to be a friend to. You know, I, I've been asked, well, Maurice, nobody on this job understands this person, but you can talk to them. You can interact with them. You can get a smile out of them and they'll actually talk to you. My, that's a gift. That's a gift that God has given me for others. Amen. People that, you know, God has given you the gift to sing or the gift, my God, to, to do crafts and, and to make things. I'm not a craft person. I can't make things with my hands, but for other people, when it comes to decorations and, and doing things of that nature, they, they have that gift. They have that knack to get things done, my God. And what God has given you as a gift, it may frustrate me because I don't have that gift. I'm just trying to do something. Are you all getting this? It can represent that. Um, talents here can also, um, in this particular ver chapter, it also represented money. This is what it represented, money um, that was given to um, these servants. And um, we'll talk about that in a moment. It can also, you know, just represent the, God, the things that God gives to us in general. Um, all of these things um, comes with understanding. It comes with us understanding what we have so that we don't lose what we have. Now, in this particular in this particular parable, the Bible said that, you know, it was, a it was a man that was traveling to a far country and, um, he, he distributed or delivered his goods to his servants. To one, he gave five talents to one, he gave two talents and to the one he gave one talent. Now, now let me help you understand the gravity of this because we're going to go with the money aspect. Um, you all that, that were a part of, of Bread of Life and Rhema, you may have seen me um, do this particular um, sermon and this graphic illustration. Um, I did it with three children because I didn't want to do it with three grown-ups because, you know, um, I didn't have that much money um, at the time to do it with three grown-ups. But um, what I did, I would stand up you know, three children, and I would give them an amount of money. Now, um, what happened, five talents in money, and I did the research of, on this, um, five talents in money, um, in American money, would be somewhere around $2 million in 2024, all right? So to the first servant, he gave $2 million, all right? Um, two talents is roughly half of that, so let's go with, um, he gave the second servant a um, million dollars. Now, any of these amounts of money I take, come on, somebody, you know, so if somebody out there, you know, you have two million dollars laying around, you have, you know, a million dollars laying around. Um, one talent was worth somewhere around um, eight hundred and fifty thousand. I'll take that right now. OK, just so you all know, I'll, I'll take that right now. And, um, you know, I'll, you know, if you want me to tell who did it, or if you tell me to keep it a secret, I'll keep it a secret. I won't tell nobody that you gave it to me, you know, so just call me and, and, and get with me and, and we'll figure out how to get it, you know, from your hand to mine. Even if I have to drive from here to New York or here to California, <laughs> glory to God. But listen, I'm just joking, but watch this $2 million dollars. Um, somewhere around a million dollars, and then the third man received somewhere around eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And as I said, I'll take that right now. But watch this: the man that received two million, the Bible said that he went out and he basically traded it. He conducted business, my God, on the behalf of his master. And the Bible said that he actually doubled that money so that when the master came back, 
he was able to hand him four million dollars. He said, I went out and 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 I and I operated on your behalf, and I need you all to get this. I operated on your behalf. I conducted business in your absence, and I've gained two million more. The same thing with the the same thing with the man that had the million dollars. Come on, somebody. He said, Master, I went out and I conducted business on your behalf. I conducted business on your behalf and I've gained a million more dollars. Now to these two, to these two, watch, watch what happens. The Bible says that, that, that the, that the master tells them, well done, good and faithful servant, because you've been faithful over a few things, I'm going to make you ruler over many. And if you read this scripture, that he had gained he had gained two million more, but then the master actually doubles what he had gained, which means that he he started out with two million and ended up with eight million. Come on, I'm just using money today because I want to show you the gravity of this. Come on, somebody. Because he had understanding, because he understood, my God, how business worked, because he understood the movement of money and how, how money multiplies and grows, he actually went from 2 million to 8 million. The same thing with the man that had the million dollars. He, he went out, he traded, he worked on the behalf of his master, gained a million, and, and he gets the same speech, well done, my good and faithful servant, because you've been faithful over a few things, I'm going to make you ruler over, mil over many Here's two million more. So he literally went from one million to four million. But here's this man that only had the one talent. Come on, what did we tell you? This talent was worth about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And 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 for the third time, I'm telling you, I'll take that right now. Glory to God. I'll take it right now. My God, I'll take it and I'll do my God right by it. Maybe I'm just putting my plea out there to God. Glory to God. If God can, you know, if God can just trust me enough, God, I'll love you and still be a millionaire. Come on, somebody. <laughs> my God, my God, let me prove to you, God, that I can be rich, my God, and still love you at the same time. I won't leave you, God. I won't walk out on you. My God, Lord Jesus, my God. But listen, the Bible says that this man actually took $850,000, dug a hole in the ground, and buried it, and didn't do anything with it. Because he did not understand what he had. Are you all getting this? Now, now watch this. When the master comes back, the other two, they had doubled theirs, but here he comes to the master, and he says, listen, Here's what you gave me back. One scripture says that, it, that he, bought, he bought the talent to him, folded up in a napkin, glory to God, and gives it back to the master and says, listen, here's the money. Here's the money that you gave me. Now watch this. It seems like that would have been okay because he didn't lose it, you know. He, he didn't say, well, master, you know, I don't have any of your money left, but watch what the Bible says. The Bible says that the master actually calls him wicked. Why does he call him wicked? Because the things that God places in our lives, he expects for us to bring forth a harvest from it. God expects increase from the gifts, the talents, the anointings. Am I talking to anybody on today? the blessings that he gives you. Glory to God. It is not God's will that he blesses you and then you remain the same. It is not God's will for him to bless you and then you not produce some fruit from the blessing. Glory to God. 
you know, he began to tell the master, well, you know, I didn't have much and, and I knew that, you know, that, that you were a shrewd man and, and you reaped where you didn't sow and, and all of this stuff. And, and the master was like, well, if you knew that about me, why didn't you do like the other servants and go out and at least put my money to the money exchangers so that we can gain a harvest. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. He says, watch. He said, take the money from this wicked servant and give it to the one that I gave the five talents to. My God, can you understand the magnitude of that? Here he was because he didn't have understanding he lost everything that he had and it went to the person that had the most understanding. Come on. That's a whole message for somebody. And I can stop right there because he says, listen to those that have it, it's going to be given to them. But to those that don't have it, they're going to lose what they have. Matter of fact, it's going to be taken away from them. Why do you need it if you don't understand what you have? Come on, my God. And we know that we know that God does not just take gifts from from us. You know, and, and I understand what the older saints used to say, that if God gives you something and he and you don't use it, he'll take it and give it to somebody else. They were actually referring to this scripture. But watch this, people of God, that's, that's the gravity of what we're talking about on today. When God speaks or we come into understanding of what God is saying, it is important, my God, that we, perf that we produce fruit that yields a harvest. Because watch this, when we lack understanding, what we have will literally be taken away from us and given to the person that understands the most. Glory to God. Listen, listen, I need to quit right there, my God. But listen, I need about 30 of you just to put on this feed right now. Say, Lord, help me to understand. Come on, put it up right now. Lord, help me to understand. If I'm living by the mouth of God, I need God to help me to understand. I don't want to take what he's given me and burying it. Come on. Sometimes, sometimes we bury, we bury what seems insignificant to us because we're looking at the man who has five or the man who has two glory to God, my God. And we're, we're, we're trying to figure out why God didn't give us more. But the truth is, people of God, there are some of you watching me right now that God wants to bring you from here to here. He wants to show you how to get from here to here. Glory to God in your knowledge, in your understanding, in your health, in your wealth, in your business. Glory to God. Many of you have businesses in you that God wants to take to the nations. Glory to God. But how do you go about that? Have you read up on it? Have you, have you figured out even how to sell your stuff on Amazon that goes all over the world? Come on, somebody. These are things that, that we need to understand in order for God to bless us. Because watch this, people of God, and I, and I say this all the time, the most talented, the most talented musicians the most talented athletes, you know, people of that nature, the most talented authors, the, the most talented preachers and, and people of this, you know, that, that have different gifts and talents, they're really not the people that we see on TV. The most talented basketball players aren't in the NBA. The most talented football players and baseball players aren't in the NFL or the MLB. The most talented singers aren't the people that, that are the platinum recording artists. But watch this. There are so many talented people. My God, some of the most talented basketball players are people that are playing 
in rec leagues right now, playing in church leagues. Why? Because they don't understand. Am I talking to anybody on today? <laughs> Glory to God. Some of the most talented singers, you know, are, are, are singing at their family's family reunion every year. Why? Because they just don't understand. Lord, help me to understand because what you placed in me is enough for me to change my life and to change the lives of those around me. God bless you. Listen, go ahead and get your prayer request up. I want to pray with you and pray for you. And we're believing God today that he will open up your understanding so that you understand not only his nature, his character, and his essence, but you'll also understand what he's giving you. Glory to God. You know, because listen, what he's giving you is enough to bring wealth into your life. Glory to God. It's enough to supply your needs. Glory to God. I was, I was, um, doing direct TV, um, a year, you know, not a year, but, you know, a few years back, I was installing satellite dishes and, and, um, I would also hang TVs. I, I still hang TVs. I really don't want to that much, but people know that I do it. So they still call me. And, um, I, I, I ran into a guy, you know, he was hanging TVs, but he was doing all kind of custom work. Um, you know, he told me at the time, and this was back in the early 2000s, he was, he was already making over a half a million dollars um, a year hanging TVs and doing custom wiring and, and, and all of that. And I'm telling you all this story to, to help you understand, to illustrate what I was talking about. And here I am doing the same custom wiring you know, hanging TVs and doing custom wiring, you know, um, hanging the TV where you don't see no wires outside the wall and, and all of this stuff. And, you know, here I was, you know, making three, four, you know, $500 a job. And um, here's this man making over a half a million dollars um, doing the same thing that I was doing. And, um, he said, uh, I, I, I told him, I said, well, you know, I install satellite dishes, but, you know, I do, I, you know, I hang TVs and stuff on the side. And um, he looked at me and he said, you know, he said, you know, you know what happened with me and how I got to the place where I am. And I, I asked him, I said, what happened? He said, I decided within myself that. I was going to get to know how to do this and stop doing it on the side. Glory to God. You know, some of you, and I, and I said that to say this, and we're going to pray, you know, some of you, some of you are doing things at a side, as a side hustle that God actually really wants to use to bring wealth into your life, but you don't look at it as a source of wealth. You look at as look at it as something you do on the side something to do to supplement the income that you're getting working for somebody else. But the truth is, people of God, God wants to take you from side hustle to wealth. Am I talking to anybody on today? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. He wants to take you from side hustle to wealth, but you're going to have to gain understanding in order that you might get there. Glory to God. My God, and listen, I actually prophesy to somebody on today that's going to get it. God is going to take your gift from a side hustle to a gift that actually creates all of the wealth that you need. Matter of fact, generational health, generational wealth is going to happen when you take on the mindset that what God has given me is no longer a side hustle. This is the thing that God has placed in my life, and it's going to bring wealth to me. Glory. To, how long, how long are you going to sit back and look at somebody else do the same thing that you're doing and then say within your mind what they're doing is not even as good as what I'm doing? Glory to God. You know how they got there? 
because they had understanding and you don't. Glory to God, my God. And the scripture told us here, it's right there in the scripture. That's why I had you write it down. Matthew 13 and 12, Matthew 25 and 29. To those that have will be given and they will have abundance. To those that don't have, what they have is going to be taken away. Let's pray. God, we love you. We praise you and we give you the glory. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Thank you for another day and another opportunity that you've given us to show your glory to the world around us. And God, we don't take it lightly because we know that it is in you that we live, move and have our being because without you, we can do nothing. But with you and through you, we can do all things. God bless your people on today. And even as they've given their prayer requests, God, we pray that you would bless them according to their prayer request. Your word tells us in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15, that we have this confidence that if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And God, because we know that you hear us, we know that we have the petitions that we ask of you. God, we come to you today asking you to open up our understanding. Help us, oh God, to understand, first of all, who you are. And then, God, as we understand who you are, God, we pray that you would cause us to understand who we are also and what you have given us that was meant to transform our lives. God, bless your people meet the needs of your people and cause us to know you today in a way that we've never known you before. And God, we just want to say that we love you. We praise you and we give you the glory, heal those that are sick, deliver the oppressed and cause those that are captive to go free. Like only you can. And God, we thank you for all of these blessings and more. It is in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. And again, God bless you. Listen, if you believe that God has answered your prayer on today, I want you to go ahead and put a praise up that's worthy of an answered prayer. Because guess what? Your prayer is getting ready to turn into your praise report. What you've been praying about, you're getting ready to testify about because that's how God works. Glory to God. Well, listen, God bless you. Thank you for joining us on today. And listen, um, we're, we're going we're gonna to get off here in a few moments, but I needed to explain something as I told you all at the beginning of our stream. Thank you all again that, that joined us on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, again, my name is Maurice E. Gregory, and this is the Morning Devotion. Um, you can meet us here every morning, every weekday morning at 7 a.m., um, 7 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. Mountain, um, 5 a.m. Pacific, and 8 o'clock on the East Coast. And um, But um, I, I, I do have um, a special announcement because the way that um, Facebook um, has been set up, um, they will no longer um, allow us to go live with the streaming software that we um, use. Um, so therefore, therefore, um, and I don't know, I don't know when this is going to take place. Um, I was told that that the rollout on it um, would possibly be at the end of this month, maybe the beginning of next month, um, where we'll no longer to be able to go live in the moment on Facebook, um, like we do on YouTube. Um, so, um, what I need you all to do, and, um, if you need help, um, subscribing and setting up, um, you know, a subscription on YouTube, um, just, just inbox us and, and we'll walk you through that process. Um, but, but unfortunately I'll be YouTube only, and we'll have to share that YouTube link to Facebook. Um, but when you click the link, it's going to bring you over to YouTube anyway. All right. So um, if you want to continue, and I know that my, my largest audience right now um, is on YouTube, on, on Facebook, excuse me. And um, we don't want you to miss out 
on your daily devotions. So um, do this for me. And I know a lot of you haven't yet because you've still been able to get me here um, on Facebook. But um, go over to YouTube, type in Maurice E. Gregory and subscribe to that channel. Um, do it today um, because I, I literally don't know when they're going to flip the switch. This is a new thing that Facebook and, and Meta and all of that is doing and um, don't know the reason for it. But but hey, um, we, we have to move as they move. So, um, you know, all of the content creators that I've spoken to um, have told me that this is a rollout that's going to happen um, possibly here in the next couple of weeks. And I did receive the email um, from the streaming software that I use that that is the case. Um, so you all that that are following me on Facebook, um, I need you to follow me on YouTube so that you can continue um, to receive the morning devotion, the daily devotion and the daily prayer and um, do it today because we don't know when this is going to happen. And, um, you know, I love you all and I thank you all for loving me um, and we want to stay connected. Um, you all that you all that are on YouTube, um, what I need you to do that are watching me on YouTube. Um, I need you, if you have a Facebook page, um, to copy, copy the link for this devotion and um, share it on your Facebook page. Do me a favor and do that. Um, you can do it now or you can do it after the broadcast, but, but share that link um, for today's uh, morning devotion and do it every day from now on for me, if you would. Um, so that the people that follow you as you share on Facebook will be able to click that link and go over to YouTube and watch. All right. So listen, if you haven't yet on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and um, all of that. Go ahead and leave your comments and um, help us to grow our cyber footprint. Now, listen, if you want to correspond with me, and um, you have a prayer request, a praise report, or you just want to correspond with me, send me an email at morningdevotion2017 at gmail.com. And um, I'll be glad to speak with you and help you to grow in your relationship with the Lord. Also, um, if you want to be a blessing to us, and this you know stream has been a blessing to us, and um, um, Dito um, Seals, um, she says, I don't know how to do that on YouTube. Um, send me an email. Send me an email, um, Dito, um, Sister Seals, and um, I'll um, send you some instructions and, um, and um, we'll, we'll get that done for you. Um, but if this has been a blessing to you, we're asking for a dollar a day. That's $30 a month, seven days, $7 a week. Um, however you want to give it, um, you can do that via the cash app at dollar sign morning devotion, 2017. Um, you can also go to Venmo, um, type in morning devotion and you'll see us there. And also if you want to use Zelle, um, you can use my email address, pastor MG 97 at yahoo.com. All of your gifts are greatly appreciated. And listen, we thank God for you. Thank you for doing what you do and showing your love to us. So if you haven't given yet for the month, um, go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to give for three months, hey, if you want to give for the year, go ahead and do it. And um, listen, all of your gifts are greatly appreciated and they help us to continue um, our ministry here in the United States and abroad as the Lord gives us strength. Amen. Um, also, also I do have, um, one moderator and one administrator right now, um, Nancy Bowman. Um, she's the one that puts up all the quotes and things for us, but I am looking for others to work with us in that area as well. Um, I need a YouTube moderator and I also need, um, a Facebook moderator and, um, all of that good stuff. So if you all want to work with me and, um, we're working on a volunteer basis now, but, but Hey, if you know me, as soon as we grow to the place where we can pay, um, we'll start paying. So if you want to do it out of the kindness of your heart as an act of love to help us to promote 
this gospel message. Um, you know, just reach out to me and let's have a talk and um, let's see what we can do. If you're tech savvy, if you can help me with different things, uh, creating flyers and, and things of that nature, reach out to me. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation about it and um, let's grow this space. All right. To the glory of God. All right. Listen, I've talked enough, but listen, do those things that we've asked. Um, if you don't understand YouTube, just go over there and um, you can create a sign in and all of that because you do have to sign in to be able to comment and all of that stuff. It's real easy. They're not going to charge you anything and um, or anything like that to, to get on YouTube. Um, just do that and then you can subscribe to my channel and um, you'll be notified um, when we go live there on YouTube. All right. But listen. Until tomorrow morning, you all pray for me. Take seven minutes out of your day and pray for everyone that's watching this feed with you. And as I say, a powerful thing is happening while you're praying for them. They're also praying for you. All right. And um, we're looking forward to seeing you on tomorrow morning. Lord willing, until then, you all be blessed.